Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where community, business, and educational partnerships provide valuable opportunities to engage students in learning while providing strategies for success. Christopher Newport University is partnering with NNPS to provide high school students with the opportunity to navigate a successful college experience as a CNU captain. More Newport News Public Schools students will have early access to a post-secondary education at a nationally ranked institution. By partnering with Christopher Newport University, up to 75 high school sophomores will be selected every year for the Community Captains Program, which will provide mentoring, college advising, access to on-campus resources, and early admission to CNU. At Warwick High School, CNU President Paul Tribble and NNPS Superintendent Dr. George Parker signed a Memorandum of Understanding. In the spring of 2019, the first class of community captains will be selected from an Achievable Dream, Heritage, and Warwick High Schools. Each high school sophomore selected must be a first-generation college student or qualify for free or reduced lunch. They must also have a GPA of 3.4 or a PSAT score of at least 1150. While still in high school, the selected community captains will be paired with CNU student mentors and receive additional guidance to prepare them for college. During their senior year, the students can earn college credit by taking a statistics class on campus free of charge. By maintaining a 3.4 GPA and completing all program requirements, Community captains will be offered final acceptance to CNU after graduation from high school. This groundbreaking partnership will ensure more NMPS students receive a top-notch education, along with financial aid, grants, and generous donations to dramatically offset college tuition and fees. Community captains will experience a full college experience with additional benefits and rewards. Thanks to a new partnership between Newport News Public Schools and the Newport News Police Department, high school students have a direct voice about issues that impact them citywide. 24 proud students representing every NMPS high school are the first members of a youth advisory board called the Young Adult Police Commissioners. They were recently sworn into the program during a special ceremony at the Mariners Museum, attended by equally proud family members, NMPS staff, police officers, and Judge Tanika Flight of the 7th Judicial District of Virginia, who did the official swearing in. Young adult police commissioners meet twice a month at NNPD headquarters to offer police officers their perspectives on solving issues and challenges that face youth in the community. At the same time, the students get to learn about police department policies, their rights as citizens, different careers within the police department, and how police officers positively impact their communities. This important alliance is truly beneficial for both groups who have come together for the benefit of this generation of students and the officers who serve them. <laughs> students at Sedgefield Elementary discovered how working with a community partner could provide the best learning for a rainy day. Water is one of the most necessary natural resources on our planet. So it's important that students at Sedgefield Elementary are receiving hands-on learning opportunities about using water wisely. AskHRGreen.org is a public service initiative that works alongside the 17 cities and counties of Hampton Roads to help improve and protect our waterways. One of these initiatives is Right as Rain, an environmentally themed outdoor art project that only appears when it's raining. Representatives with the City of Newport News partnered with Simone Pierce's third graders to select and apply two stencils that remind others to keep pollutants out of our waterways. Using a non-toxic spray, 
the students applied two coats of the invisible liquid and then waited for a rainy day to see their messages magically appear. Volunteers with Virginia Master Naturalist Program devoted time and resources to help educate Sedgefield students about the benefits of capturing and using rainwater to grow a beautiful garden. After planting a range of perennials and native plants in a brand new raised garden bed, students safely assisted with the installation of Sedgefield's first rain barrel. And these students' efforts are gaining national recognition. During their activities, a video crew with the National Wildlife Federation captured their progress to be featured on an upcoming segment. For Sedgefield students, a rainy day is a great day to learn and grow. Here are some dates you'll need to remember. All schools and offices will be closed on Monday, January 21st for Martin Luther King Day. And the following days, January 22nd through January 24th, are exam dates, so high school students will be on a half-day schedule. In addition, all students do not report to school on Friday, January 25th because of a teacher work day. <laughs> Newport News Public Schools is hiring, and you can learn about job opportunities at the open house on Saturday, February 2nd, from 9 a.m. to noon at Hines Middle School. Bring your resume and complete your application on site. To view all current job openings, go to nnpsjobs.com. <laughs> First Step is a voluntary preschool program that provides innovative early childhood instruction for four and five-year-olds. All First Step Early Childhood Centers host full-day programs, and the programs are free. If you're interested in finding out more information or making an appointment for preschool pre-enrollment, go to the school system's home page and click on the Schedule First Step Pre-Enrollment Appointment link. You can also call 283-7788, extension 12183, between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. weekdays. <laughs> When it's determined that schools will be closed or delayed in opening, the school system will make the announcements as early as possible. In case of inclement weather, please remember that a decision to close or delay the opening of schools cannot be made on the basis of a forecast alone. Conditions must be evaluated. Transportation personnel drive the streets starting at about 4 a.m. to determine safety conditions. The goal is to make a final decision by 6 a.m. so that local television and radio stations can make the announcement. For the most reliable and timely information, please check the information line at 757-283-7810, the administration office at 757-591-4500, the Newport News Public Schools website at nnschools.org, or NMPS TV on Cox 47 and Verizon Fios 17, as well as Roku and Apple TV. You can also follow NMPS on Facebook and Twitter. And the school system's families and staff will also receive notification through the telephone communication system. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at NNPSTV.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching.